Start first it distorts your compressions and then before you and I forgot to tell you this, but before you give your breath, but you said it right. Yeah, you yeah. don't give breath if you can't. You try yeah. to look to see if you can yeah. see it. Yeah, before you give the breath, see if you see it. If you see it, get it out. If you don't see it, then you give me two breaths. Well, because you don't start until you Yeah. Know if you can see it, but you don't do the wrong. Don't do it. You don't think you can get it out. Don't be in here playing around. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you you gonna make things worse. Don't be you know busy. If you see it, get it out. If not, give it two breaths. And that is all with the adult choking. Now we're going to do the um, infant choking. I think we have to drink some masks or some forest and make it cold and fall on hand. <coughs> <laughs> but we, at the hospital, we were, um, you know, I work on the work at site. Forensic site unit, and you know they have all these behaviors. So this one person was always causing problems. So I was getting ready to go to lunch, and they called me and said, uh, "Miss Cassandra, whatever, whatever." Me and that coughing won't stop coughing. And I was like, "Okay." In my mind, okay, he acting up again. But as a nurse. You have to go back and assess the situation because that's what we do. And this one time, he was actually choking. I think, and I think it was pork chop. That's why I would say pork chop. So me and the other nurse, we do the um, hymen maneuver. Um, pork chop come out, he's fine. So he was. I was like, wow. The one time, so you never know that when they act up so much, then that one time when you, you know, that's why you always have to make sure that they. 